body. Community. And then every now and then you see a preacher get exposed that he's struggling with homosexuality, the same one who the priest against him. Yeah. So God been using you that way all these years. Yeah. Now you want to judge everybody else. Yeah. 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 Let me say this boldly here. Yeah? You don't have to invite me to your church to preach. At our church, everybody's welcome. Yes. Yeah. 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 Everybody's welcome. Yeah. Everybody. Because I know me. I don't qualify to do this. Yeah. Grace got me doing this. Yeah. And if I can let the lie stand up and preach, if I can let the adulterer stand up and preach, I'm, I'm going to get you busy before it's over. If I can let the thief stand up and preach, then how come you got different qualifications for everybody else? We accepted in our black churches. The preacher can have a girlfriend, five girlfriends in the church. Oh, he's just a man of God. That's his thorn. Mm -hmm. But we have all kinds of standards for everybody else in the church. I try not to go here, Gary, but I got to go here because I have to deliver this ministry. Before. Grab me this hand, please. If I had not been righteous, Gary, how would I have been delivered? If I had not been saved, how would I have been delivered? If you reject people because they struggle with something, how do you get delivered from anything? And what if God never delivered them? What if God said, I want you away from my glory? Yeah. What makes you a judge of that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I hope we need a prayer to worship yeah. Jesus. <laughs> no, Jesus. <laughs> don't get hurt with the COVID. Yeah, don't get hurt with the They need you real bad. Somebody say amen. Yeah. I'm going to bless you and then I'm going to give you an opportunity. There are three things that God has given me to, to, to spread around apostles that go around, you know, Places. God is, is doing something right now that He's breaking the yoke of poverty. He's destroying that yoke of the lives of the people and of the ministry of the people. He's lifting the burden of death and He's breaking the yoke of oppression. He don't want us to be oppressed. He don't want us to be in poverty. He don't want us to death. Now, as I'm preaching this word, it's up to you whether you mix this word preach your faith. The Bible says they enter not into his rest because they make not the word for even faith. I'm, I came to bring a word that for those who respond, that God says that I'm going to destroy. Because you see what you're doing, you're connecting to a system. You're connecting to an anointing. Am I preaching this right, Apostle? And when you respond in faith based on the word preached, you enter into God's rest. For that rest place that you need to be in for your burdens to be of death to be removed, the yoke of poverty to be destroyed, the yoke of oppression to be destroyed, that anointing is on my life for this season. So there's a rest for that on earth. So when you connect to me with the release of seeds so an act of faith, then that, you, you come into that rest, now you're under an anointing. Am I doing this the right way? So for those of you struggling with death and you can't afford to do nothing, this is for you. For those of you who always feel oppressed, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You get this done, that go wrong. You thought you had this together and something else broke. Oppressed of the devil. You can't get out of bed in the morning, too many things on your mind. Oppressed. Oppressed of the devil. You have a whole lot of debt. Here's an anointing for you. Shut up. They come out of that debt to destroy that yoke. So I need you to drop your neighbor's hands before we clap. I want you to go into your pocket, but go into your pocket. And I want you to get a seed that you will say, Lord, I'm going to release these $50, these $25, one of the two. I want this yoke destroyed with my life. I don't want to be in poverty anymore. I want to talk to those who believe. I want you to go into your purse. Preach, I can't afford it. You can't afford nothing to do it. Jesus, I want you to have faith. Just leave your seat as you at your will and just come bring your offering up, please. <laughs> just leave your seat.
seated. Come bring your offering up as the Lord leads you.